You know, I'm a mother a few times over, and I really do love my children more than anything. But at all times, I hope I remember that I'm the parent and I'm not their buddy. Today, we're going to meet mothers who say, my daughter is my best friend, which I think is fine. But you may think these mothers go too far. They go out drinking with their daughters. They go to strip clubs with their daughters. And they spend their weekends going cruising for good-looking guys with their daughters. While I party with my daughter Anna here, and I'm proud of it. How can you allow this? I'd rather her do it with me than be out on the streets. I think they should be taken away from you. Do I sit at home and bake cookies all day? If I wasn't having fun partying with my mother, I wouldn't do it. I'm a mother and I'm So get friends soldier. your own age. Why? They're too old. You need help. It's our life. Why don't you keep your opinions to yourself? can imagine there are plenty of people who are upset about this, including my first guest, Carol. She is furious about what goes on with her sister, Tina, and Tina's 13-year-old daughter, April. Carol, first off the bat, tell us why you're so upset and what are you upset about and what is going on with Tina and April? April's 13 years old. She smokes marijuana in the house. They drink together. They have men there morning, noon, and night, spending the night all the time. No, it's not morning, noon, and night. Oh, April, it is too. No, and the it's beer not, that it's comes not. in the house, and the other two kids are neglected. You know, April does what she wants. There are Friday other two night, other children. How are they younger? Six and eight years old. So or five and eight. So there's a five and eight and a 13. Tina, you, you're, this is your sister saying yes. that. Why would you allow a 13-year-old to use drugs? And I'd rather her do it in my home than go outside and be with someone that I don't know and get the wrong stuff and end up raped or killed somewhere. So it's OK to go ahead and have unprotected sex? No, At 13 I'm not years old, that. her boyfriend was 17. He's going to be 18 in one year. Then it's rape. Then she's pregnant. You know, and. April, now you guys are you in allowing her? Same thing when you were young too, so. Are you allowing her to have unprotected sex in your no. house? No, but I can't be there when she's it. having sex. You she tells me it. she uses condoms. You could take her to a doctor or something. You know, yeah. you guys party I really and drink. I got a drink. doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Tomorrow. Hopefully, it's not too late, huh? You know. I are mean, you having they... sex in mother's home? Yeah. Are you using protection? No. No. Her boyfriend Mother. tonight. You know. Mother, what is that want. about? I mean, she don't do it if I say no anyway. She's gonna go out of my home and do it too. April, I know you think it's cool that your mother allows this, but your aunt Carol is really upset. What do you want to say she to your aunt? She used to do now? the same thing with, with my cousin Tanya and Mario. She used to let them drink. She used to let. Tanya was pregnant when she was twelve. So, and I've learned by my mistakes, and I don't want you to have to go through it. I don't want you kids to end up in custody. Of <laughs> you know, it's not okay. Tina, April. this is this is not a joke, and you're really laughing about this a lot. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm not. Does it really just, go on? Yeah, it happens. I ain't gonna lie All about the time. it. They're living in my house right now, and they have boys that sneak in through the bedroom window because I get mad for men coming to the door late at night. I mean, it's April's boyfriends in and out the bedroom window, and this is not okay. This is my home. You know, there's kids to be raised. I understand the police raised. have also had to uh, break up a party or two at your house and threaten to take your kids away. Yeah, but they always threaten you. Whenever there's alcohol involved. You've both been to jail over fighting. You know, we had to bail you out of jail. April had to stay in JDH. You know, you guys have to have to go to the diversion program, anger management, you know, because you guys party, and that's what you think about is it's, your party. It's our wife. I don't, it's, why don't you keep your opinions to yourself? It's, because I love it's you. That's what we care. do. It, right. It's not, you know, there's. I'm going to do it I can't care of my kids, so it shouldn't matter to anybody else how I raise my kids as long That's as I That's why April doesn't go to school about. half the time. I go to no, school. She goes to school. Yes, sir. She goes to school, Thank school you. Monday through Friday. Um, to the mother, Tina, how can you sit up there and sit next to your daughter at age 13 and actually think that what you're doing is right? I'm not why, saying you, it's You're not putting any right. type of values in there? So does she have a life other than drugs and alcohol? Yeah. yeah. And what's that? Any school? You have any yeah, schools? Yeah, school. Bet Half what, days between now. drinking and smoking? That's all she does? That's what she, she likes to do? She don't drink and smoke every day. But she does it with her mother. 
Yeah. You. I'd rather her deal with me than be out on the street somewhere but else. Why would you want her to do it anyway? Wrong is wrong, no matter how else. you look at it, Tina. Tina, why you know, was April to taken to jail uh, at least once? Excuse me? Why was she taken to jail? We had a fight. And I called the cops on her, and they got me for assault, too. And they took you to jail? Yeah. I don't April get it. April is 13 years old. She just got off probation in March. She was She's on 13 years old with months. a record? Yes. Assault charges. Yes. Uh, I have a question. I just want to know where the father is. Where, I mean, somebody should be helping out. I'm sorry, it's stereo her I'm sorry it's a stereotypical question, but there should be someone there. Her father hasn't been in her life for eight years. Yes. I just have a comment. You're sitting there and grinning, yet you said that your children could be taken away from you. I think they should be taken away from you. Yes. In the way. Yes. I, I know I'm a good mother. I take care of my kids. Yeah, you have a 13-year-old daughter talking to your sister like she's nobody. Like she's like, oh, I could do what I want. No, she can't. She if just thinks she's, she's better than everybody roof. else. Well, she's not. She's done the same thing in her past. And I learned from it my mistakes. It doesn't matter, but you're... Oh, don't want you to let her old. Old. Look mistakes. at the way you let her talk. Because I don't want you to get hurt. I mean, I don't know. I mean, for where I come it's from, disgusting. that's not right. Yes, ma'am. To the mother? No, 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 no. You don't do. No. What, what about respect? Do you have respect for yourself? Yep. It don't seem like it, honey. I do. I just don't want my daughter and out there joining your daughter gangs do, and No, it's else. not right. In you my eyes, it is not right. Over to your house. It's not right. And party with you guys. Yes, ma'am. You're sitting there very smug, very ugh, like nothing matters. Suppose she was sitting with a needle with heroin in her arms and a baby I'm in her belly. I'm not that what would to do you that. do? She better never do that. Then you better make wake up, lady, and get her life together and get yours too. Your sister woke up. You wake up. Do you understand that your daughter is having unprotected sex? She just yes. told us this. Does this not bother you? Yeah, it does. But why don't you take her to the doctor? She is. Why don't you take her to a doctor why and get her, her on birth control? Why would she take her before she ever started having sex? If you're going to sit and allow that, you know, give her some protection. There's a lot of why diseases out there. Why have you not there. taken her to the doctor? I guess that's the next question. Because every time I brought it up to her, she said she was still a virgin. Until Can you recently. believe it with the way that you guys party? She just told me she was having unprotected sex, and I have only known her a second and a half. <laughs> Carol, I understand you want to give Tina an ultimatum. What is it? I've already told Tina a while back that she has a month to get her life together, or <laughs> I'm going to get um, state officials involved and have the kids removed from her home. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to say that um, I have to agree with Ann Carroll on this one. The children in this generation are really having a problem with sex, with drugs, and it's really sad to see a mother having, focusing her child's energies in this negative way. It's really sad. That... We wonder where a situation like this is headed as April grows up. Well, next. This mother spends her weekends going to strip clubs and checking out guys' private parts with her daughter. Stay with us. Hi, guys. This is Jenny. I'm a precious, blue-eyed, blonde-haired, five-foot-eight little doll, and I want to party. So call me. According to our phone lines, a lot. Uh, I'm always amazed at parents who try harder to be their kids' friends than to be a parent. But maybe it's easier to be a friend than it is to be a parent. It certainly isn't easy to parent today. We're talking with moms who are proud to say, my daughter is my best friend. We love to party together. There are plenty of people who don't share their enthusiasm. I want you to meet Diana and her daughter, Shannon, and her niece, Jenny. Diana, Jenny told our producer she's embarrassed because you and Shannon look and act, and this is her words, trampy. What do you do together? Oh, Shannon and I have a great relationship, Sally. We go to a strip club called La Bear. Uh, we go to the beach. We go partying. We have a great time. I've waited years for my daughter to get old enough for me to take her out. Okay, now let me tell you how it goes. 
You have waited years. You go to the strip club every week. You know the strippers so well. They call uh, mom. They called you mom one night. You and your daughter took off her bras and left them with the male dancers. On Sunday, when you're at the beach, you rate the men's body. You tell the men their scores. Uh, you go cruising together and yell out the car windows at men. Uh, you gave Shannon condom balloons for her birthday, for, uh, for Mother's Day. You got tattoos. You like to date younger men. What, 18 years of age and so forth? Oh, no, no? not that young. <laughs> the thing with the bras was some of the dancers were going to impersonate women, and they were going to come out in their tea bags with stuffed bras on. And they know us, and they didn't know anybody else in the audience as well as they know us. So they asked us, and that's why we gave it to them. And Jenny got so embarrassed that she, she called him. She called, she called the guy. There. It was just I want to know what was going on. Him. Come on, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Shannon, a lot of people are embarrassed to be seen in public with their parents. You love to party with mom. Yes, I like to party with my mom more because my friends they don't like to stay out as late as I do. And my mother, I'm safe being with my mother. So my friends are, they think I'm crazy. Because they think, I, you know, everybody thinks I should go party with them. Because they're my age. Mom. But with my mother, I know I'm safe. Um, I have more fun with her because she's, she does things spontane real spontaneously. You know? Jenny, what do you say? It is embarrassing. Is it? <laughs> I've never, they, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just humiliated that it's. Well, Sally, let me tell you what happened one New Year's Eve night. Her friends come over to go partying, and she's, she's such a fuddy duddy. She's so slow. She's the cookie monster. That's what we call her at the house. And uh, who, the guys come over. It was, it was quite a few couples. They come over to pick her up, and because she wasn't through pripping and uh, putting her shoes on, I went out with them. And we had so a ball. So what does that tell you? She so wants to be friend. her friends. Her friends yes. come over to the house, and we play cards. We play <laughs> games. And she's in the kitchen cooking. Mm -hmm. it's, no, it's because Jenny, no, Jenny goes with her friends to movies, to the video store to pick up stupid movies to watch at home, and Mom and I are going someplace exciting, a lot of people, a lot of people are partying, and they would rather go out, you know, out on town than sit at home while she's baking cookies and watch movies and be bored. I might have more friends if you quit taking them. No, you have more your friends, friends if you go out. Your friends are your friends. No. But they like coming and partying with us. I'm not, I'm a mother and so I'm also... So get friends your own age. Why? They're too old. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sally, my friends, where she's saying is friends my own age, I'm 42 years old. Friends I know, they're old. You know, they want to stay at home. I have waited all my life for my daughter to get old enough for her and I to go out. We can go out, and I don't see nothing wrong in it. And people that want to sit around and condemn us for going out, what do they do in their spare time? Do they talk about tea parties? What are you doing, yeah. treat, uh, teaching her the tricks that you already know? Honey, I don't turn tricks, and I don't treat tricks, and I don't right. teach her tricks. You sound what like I do, it. What do you do, huh? What I do you stay do at home spare and time? take care of my kids. Okay, I take care of my kids. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So are mine. So now we have two families like this. Go ahead. What, what is a mother in your eyes? I mean, you and your daughter, y'all hanging out, but you can hang out with your daughter as well as I do. But we go to the movies. You're taking your daughter to bars and whatnot. No, That's she's not taking me. I'm taking her. You're taking her. Taking Look at her. you. That's pitiful. To this mother over here, you need some parenting skills. If I was the aunt, I would remove the children from you and let you get a life. You know, you need a life. It's my life. It's no one else's business. Do you have your hand up? Don't you think, uh, as a mother, you're trying to turn back the clock on your uh, former uh, age? Okay. Let me tell you, you don't know anything about me, so let me tell you. I was married twice in very abusive relationships. I sat at home. I raised my children. I raised them as a single parent. My son, when he got to be old enough, we raced motorcycles together. Why should I want to sit at home and bake cookies when I can enjoy myself? I don't figure that I've got that much more time living on this earth. Why should I sit at home? You Diana, you're your, your niece says you, you party too much, if and I, I live under. my life the way you're living, I'm gonna be a very boring person. Oh, I don't think right. so. I, do. I don't think so. Diana. Your niece says you party too much. I understand that you say she doesn't party enough. 
She's too old. For 18 years old, Sally, she is too old. No, she, she has not, not had has a childhood. She's not had a childhood. And I tell you what, I have got, there's a dating service in Houston that Jenny doesn't know about, but I've got her a membership for this dating service, and we've got a tape of it. A tape of the dating service? Yes, we've got a tape of uh, her. Well, not her, it's actually me, but I do have her a membership now. So she can enjoy going out and stuff. In other words, you called the dating service, you used her voice, or you used your voice? I used my voice. Okay, let's take a listen to that. Hi guys, this is Jenny. I'm a precious, blue-eyed, blonde-haired, five-foot-eight little doll, and I want to party. So call me. My membership number is 20582. Call me now. Jenny, what are you going to do about that? Just stand strong. I don't know. It's embarrassing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Very. Hang up the phone. Yeah, you can change the number, hang up the phone, pretend you don't, uh, you're not Call anywhere there. Call and cancel your membership. Tell them it was your Isn't aunt. there a way of her get, isn't there a way you can get out of it? No, I just, I just, I wanted to, you know, know how I feel. I wanted to change. Okay, I understand. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I have a comment for uh, the woman at the end over here. Uh, you're supposed to be, or you have the audacity to call yourself the mother of this child, 13-year-old. Yeah. I mean, you have some nerve. She is only a little child, 13 years old, a little girl, okay? I mean, really, you need some help, serious help. <laughs> you think it's funny. You think it's funny, but I don't think it's a laughing no, matter. No, okay, so because you well live it look what you happy. are doing to this little girl's future. You are destroying it. And to the art, <laughs> and to the art, <laughs> how can you allow this if you are really so concerned? Get some help and remove these kids out of that home. And she, she doesn't does have deserve to have them children with her. She has 30 days to get her life together. As soon as possible. And if it's not together at that time, the kids are removed into our Do home. Do it as soon as possible because she is a disgrace as a mother. She thinks it's a joke. <laughs> All right. Meet our next guest. This is Judy and her daughters, Anna and Faith. Judy, what's going on with your family? Do you party well, with your daughters? Yeah, well, I party with my daughter Anna here, and I'm proud of it. Okay. I love to party with her. We go do all kinds of things and Faith, how do you feel about partying with mother? I think it's I think that it's um, setting a bad example because my sister Anne has a little boy, he's a year old, and as you can tell she's very much pregnant. What's I think how old is I she? Think, I think that it's setting a bad example. Anna is twenty. And, and she I, has two children she's one and one and one on the way. Is she married? She's divorced. Just recently. Just, yeah. Just Same recently. father for the two children? No. No. Anna, hey, we know your sister everybody. Faith doesn't approve of this. What do you say to her? Does it not? I just don't think it's any of her business. Right on. I have she fun fighting with my mother. Yeah, I love I know her too. She I love and her too, very much. If I didn't, if I didn't, ha wasn't having fun fighting with my mother, I wouldn't do it. But you, what about you, your kids? Just Anna, you're my not. Kid, there's nothing wrong with my. Are you going to have them partying party. with you as they get older? Well, if, it, if I do, it's I really mean, none of your business. A good example. That's my no. child. I'm, I'm bringing him into this world, and I'm going to raise him. I have a question for Tina. Do you care that your daughter is going to get pregnant? I mean, do you see that this other family, um, she's already pregnant. She has two children. Do, do you care that your daughter is a high risk of getting pregnant right now with unprotected yes, sex? Yes, I care. And does this matter? I mean, you yeah, let this go on matter. in your house. But I can't be by her side every minute making sure she's using protection. No one's talking about making love. I don't understand. I mean, did you ever talk to her about what, you know, sex is all about? I mean, a 13-year-old doesn't, I mean, should be studying. Yeah, it's I don't understand this whole concept. I mean, parting with your daughter is another <laughs> no, thing. I mean, I have a great relationship with my mother. I'm, my mother's I'm married. Like, my, I mean, I spend I, time I with my family. Around. I mean, you're, a, you're obviously... I think that's a big difference. I really... It's, it's yeah. definitely different. But, you know, making her, this other young woman go out and, you know, if she doesn't want to party, she doesn't want to party. Like, why, everyone should be able to do what they want to do, as long as you're not going to get That's pregnant right. so or get AIDS. I mean, this is crazy. This whole conversation is making me nuts. Oh, I don't know <laughs> if I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know if I agree with you, and maybe I am a fuddy-duddy, but I think when the two mothers go to bars and they remove bras and they are spending their time with male strippers, I think that's a problem to me. I think that's, it's inappropriate behavior, yes. I'm 18 and me and my mother are very close, we're very close, but this, what you guys are doing, that, why can't you spend time together? Go to the movies, go to the park. Thank you. What is drugs, sex, all we that can. in the house? What is that? Times. My mother would never, she would, I would be on You're the floor somewhere. She would, would never let me do that in the house. Faith, do you live at home with your sister and your mother? No. no I live don't. at home with my husband and my two children. Okay. Yeah. Judy, do you, are you partying now that your daughter's pregnant? Not as much. I'm waiting for her to have the baby and for her to turn 21 so we can really have fun. <laughs> hey, oh my. everybody has to live, you know? I mean, why yeah, sit at home and bake cookies all day? Mom, you need to grow <laughs> up. I am grown up, honey. I'm 46 years yeah, old. Yeah, but you act like my friend and not my mother. Nope. I needed a mother, not a friend. You need more friends than you do mothers, honey. You Wait a minute. Have... Wait a yeah. minute. That's right. Right. She does not treat me like I'm her mother. My friends were my Judy? friends because you were, you were the way that you were. They hung around me because you were just like a that's friend. That's because I'm, I'm such a good person, that's why. Judy, are I you trying to tell your daughter that she didn't need a mother? She's trying to tell you she needed a mother, aren't you, Faith? Ma Sally, Mom, when I had little Kenny, okay, mm -hmm. I called you up, I don't know how many times, crying, Mom, I need to talk to you, Mom, I'm going through this, I, can you please come over? Faith, I don't have gas in my car. But you could run the roads and go here and go there and go to Fort Fearful, but you would drive Let right me by my house. clarify this, please. You wouldn't All right. stop by. You said you, wouldn't, you didn't even have time. And why, Faith? Every time I come near you, you call me a bitch or you say this. I did not either. Faith? I would not either call Faith? you that, Mom. Yes, you do. Okay. In your dreams. Okay. What are you thinking? I'm a mother of a seven-year-old little girl, and I think it's just disgusting the way you mothers are acting. You are supposed to be the role model. You are the advocate for what your children are learning. How can you raise them and teach them things? What are you teaching them? That partying, drugs, and sex is fun? There's no drugs yes, allowed. Right. But not you're teaching them to go out and party is great. You're, you're not called... teaching them the principles of life. <laughs> what kind of adults are those children going to be? Not I think they ones. turned out to be pretty good adults, if you ask me. I, I'm very proud of my Excuse kids. Me. All three of them. Excuse me. I raised two children on my own. I work to raise my children. I take care of my mother financially also. My kids are not without anything. My mother is not without anything. And if I want to reward her for taking care of my kids for me during the day, no. Take no. her up. Why? Well, when oh, you go to right. movies, what are they showing? X-rated movies. You're not seeing no more Ed LaBear, Ashley Joy. You don't see anything? Oh, hang on a minute. Get you don't see nothing more than going to the beach. I've got a life. I'll have tea time with you later. Yes, right on. Next, this mother says that the women should be fired from their jobs as mothers. So we're going to bring on a mother and a daughter who will confront our moms and daughters when we come back. So it isn't just about it's me, leave me alone. You are the most selfish group of mothers I have ever seen. In meet Susan and her daughter Cameo. Susan, are you and Cameo like our other mothers and daughters here? Uh, no. Um, no. <laughs> proudly, I tell you, no. Um, <laughs> you know, Sally, motherhood is a real privilege, and the most important thing in my life um, are my daughters. And I can tell you that every woman 
and little girl needs a mother. We need a mother to teach us. We need a mother as role models. We need boundaries. As someone who is in her 40s, my little 81-year-old mom who lives with me still gets up and says, you're not going to wear that today, are you? Yeah. And I love it. I mean, she's my mother. And yes, it's nice to have a good relationship. Cammie and I have a very close relationship. But Sally, I'm her mother. I am preparing her for society. Right. And, and something so important that I'm hearing up there, number one, not only do we have mothers with no self-esteem sitting up here, but secondly, but secondly, when they say, well, it's my life, I'll do what I want. But you know what's going to be sad? If these young girls go on welfare, you and I are paying the bill. If she gets pregnant, that's right. So it isn't. So it isn't just about it's me, leave me alone. You are the most selfish group of mothers I have ever seen. <laughs> my children. My children never went it without. And if there's people on welfare, it's because of people like you. My daughter uh, happens to be me. I don't take my kids old. to sit there and watch what male you do, body do you? parts. You know, you don't fight sexism do by go? being a sexist. Do y'all go to <laughs> do y'all go to? One that wears nothing but the trousers and the, the little eyes on no, shorts and stuff? Tops. We have tops that cover You up. wear a bikini top? Oh. And it covers me too. Oh, your mother needs to do something with you because you're going to write, you're going to oh, grow up and you're no, going to be on God. welfare with your mom. You need back. help. You need Jeez. help. Cameo, uh, you're 17 now. My goodness, is that going quickly? How, how would you feel if your mother acted like your friend instead of your, or your peer, let's say, instead of your parents? I, I wouldn't like it at all. You know, I'm so happy that my mom isn't like these mothers, you know. I have a very good relationship with her. We've gone to concerts together, you know. She goes and parties, I mean, not parties, I don't go get Ooh. drunk with my mom. She you said know, parties. Party with her? But we, we party sober and not intoxicated, you know. We don't, we don't drink either. Okay. We don't drink and we don't I feel, smoke. I feel so sorry for you. You're only 13. I had my first kiss when I was 13. Are you happy? Let, you yes. don't act it. I am so happy. I have such she a wonderful life. Yes, yeah, she acts like she's hurting in this world. I have such a wonderful life. I have nothing to be... I have a beautiful life. I have three daughters, four grandkids, and one on the way. You have a daughter who is brokenhearted because she never had a mother. And you... over there, a gorgeous little girl that you had the chutzpah to set up on a on a phone call. I that can't believe it. That was a joke. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Mothers. We talked about being friends and we talked about being mothers. I wonder if you really know what the true word mother means. Is there dignity? Is there respect? You have to be a teacher, a sister, a mother, a role model. JJ, come here. Where's this? Is my son? Okay. We socialize. We we socialize, but I'm always. I'm not. I'm never your friend. Your mom. I'm mom. That's it. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. Because that's just the way that it is, and I think that I need his respect, and I'm not going to get you know, his respect Sally, if I'm out Sally, partying with my kids. You know, Sally, we have the opportunity to have friends all over the world, but we only have the opportunity to be mothers right. once or twice. It's the most precious thing we have. I agree. You've heard the expression, mother knows best. Do all mothers know best? We'll talk about no. that when we come back. Oh, I'll come right here. You are the power. Get off my stage. Welcome back. 
I would like you to meet psychologist Dr. Karen Derby. Karen, what's going on here? Listen, there's been a lot of screaming at these mothers, and you yeah. guess it doesn't work. It does not get through. What we've is had it a, then? We've had a mother and daughter in jail, and that hasn't gotten through. So I think we have to take into account that there is so much something, there's so much force that these mothers are bringing here, you're not going to batter it down. Have you noticed how cruel this mother and daughter couple is. Which one? Well, actually, there's a, there's a lot of cruelty and sadism coming across. You know, I don't know if you understand. When you watch this show on television, you're going to be mortified about what you said about this little girl. You called her slow. And you've brought her to the point of tears. Now, what that means to me, Sally, is that in the, the people who are pushing this kind of anger out have a great deal of pain inside themselves. We don't see the pain because they're defending using the anger. They, we see I don't know that I quite understand. Give me an There's, example with this, this the one that's what, closest to what you. A, what, a, what an incredibly mortifying thing to call up with a sexy voice and say, come up and see me sometime. What kind of a thing <laughs> is that to do yeah. to a little girl? Yeah. That is a very hostile thing. But the point is that this mom does not realize that and she needs a lot of help to realize that the reason why we can't get through to these women is because they are so defended they are so frightened they've had such yucky things happen to them in their lives you have had a hard life you deserve to have a nice life can I ask but, you a question? but wait let me fin let me finish my thought and then you can you're using your daughter as an extension of yourself you're using your daughter to meet your own needs and that Right on. Every one of you has said, I'm a loving mother. But if we asked you the details of what it means to be loving, I'm not worried about you getting pregnant. I'm worried about you being dead in two years. Yes. How is that love? How is that love? And when you say she's going to do it anyway, she's going to smoke pot anyway, no, she isn't. Yeah, I, am. I have daughters. When I tell them, no, you can't, you know what? No, they don't. And there are consequences if they don't listen to me. The, the amount of help that is needed here is monumental, and it blows me away that jail, jail has not gotten through yet. This is a big problem, and it's not solved why, simply. Why do you think that your daughter is going to smoke? Do you believe that all children smoke pot? No, but it's her friends that she hangs around with. Well, if you oh, wait a minute. Yes. Properly, you Why haven't properly, you gotten her away she from did those bring friends? Me just fine. Obviously, she didn't. If you're drinking and getting she drunk, did. I'll do it anyway. No, you're not. If it's my friends. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Excuse me. I really want to know this. Why will you do it anyway? Why do I want to? Why? Why do you want to? I want to. Tell me why. Why do you want to get high? Look at your leg. Your leg. It can't stop moving. What's the matter? What's the matter, Sally? There's something. Sally, it's not, it's there's not something going friends. wrong. She has got to be removed from her mother. Yeah. That is. I, I agree. You do not I take care. No, you do not you take care. No, 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 no. You do you not take care of her. Business. You are so selfish. These. Well, first of all, I think one of your audience members said it. I'm the first mother that's walked out here. That's right. Yes. yes. I would like to say that the biggest, a uh, daughter's biggest influence is her mother. Whatever she sees you do, she is going to want to do. She's 13 years old. She's not 33 years old. Let her be a child. When she is 33 years old, by the time she should be 33 years old, she may not even be here. Let her be a child. It's not funny what she's doing. She is a baby. These and you're doing a great job with your daughter. in their mother's shadow because they're terrified and they don't know what else to do. But I don't understand why you would, I mean, honestly, I'm trying to be sympathetic, but why would you, the first time you caught her smoking pot, what did you do? I didn't catch her, she came and told me. Okay, when she came and told you, what did you tell her? I told her to do it in my house, not out on the streets. She's a baby! She's a baby! Yeah! But that happens, I, Sally, that happens because this mom I don't get it! No, nope. I don't get it! We'll be right back.
Faith, you were talking about having your baby and needing your mom to be there and calling for help and she wasn't there. I wanted to know some more about that because my mother died when I was 17 and I have two little babies and I wanted a mom to call and say, uh, what do I do now? And there, you know, there's nobody there. Mm -hmm. I wanted to hear some more about that. Well, um, right after I had Kenny, um, I, I, I asked, I'd, what, I would call her up and ask her to come over. What you did know. you need from her? I just, you know how when you feel after you have a baby, you, you cry a lot, yeah. you feel like complete. It's a very vulnerable time. Yeah. That's and why we have mothers, to help us. Right. And I mean, I would need something, you know, and, and she would either be not home over to a friend's house, or she would be doing something for one of her other friends. Mom, what happened? What happened? I, I know you said she living. was going to call you a name. No, okay. You were living, let but me, you know, this something. is your baby. This is your baby. Our oh, baby. my baby. This is my baby. She's my middle one. You see the cruelty? Oh, you that's see it. the cruelty? That's, that's the cruelty I was this talking is the about. Baby. That's She's cruel. the middle one. When I was younger, Faith has a life to live of her own. She doesn't Wait. need. She doesn't need me 24 hours a day. She has a mother, she has a life of her own. She's married. She has two sons. She needs you. She needs you. Go ahead. Well then, tell her to buy me a car and put gas in it all the time, and I'll be over there every day. That's not my responsibility. But I have I my own control. Control. My Go own ahead. Money, so just I just guess you I'm had a car, car, but you sold when it for 150 dollars. My mother always told me, "I'm not your <laughs> friend. You I'm your mother." And I never knew what that meant until I. Now you know. What it means. Well, I have my own daughter now, plus three boys, and. There's no, no other relationship that, you, that can replace a mother-daughter relationship. And I really feel sorry for you girls because you'll never know what you're missing. That's right, that's right. Go ahead. To Diana and Judy, you're trying to recapture your youth or something? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I want to defend ourselves a little bit yeah, here. Well, we've we've kind of got all the slack here. What is the difference? I raised my girl. We are friends, but yet I am her mother. Yes, you could be friends. I understand that. You, go to you could be friends. Uh, Take your bra Faith? off with your daughter. Faith? That's what I you raised her to do. Honey. You I want me to give my? You. No, mine wouldn't fit you. Excuse me. I see for you, Faith. Uh, yeah, Anna. <laughs> Anna, you have responsibilities. You have a baby and another one on the way, and this is what you're doing. Yes, it is. You know, Sally, there we're is not nothing wrong with my son. My son is very smart. What I'm saying kids. is, you got responsibilities. You got two, one kid, a next one. Take time for your children. I have Take time for time my children. For your children. Yes, Anna, do you realize, yes, son, like Anna, say, um, without, Anna, do you realize turn. that you got a lot of feedback today that the mother that you saw growing up was not an adequate role model? Are you concerned at all that you may not have the proper amount of, of learning about how to be a mother? Are you concerned at all about that? No, I'm not, because I think I'm raising my son to the best of my ability, and there's nothing wrong with the way my son is being raised. My son is very smart for his age. I just, I think well, it's all smart is one thing and behavior is another, and we're seeing a lot of dysfunctional behavior here today. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I like to say that um, I lost my mother when I was 12, and I would give anything to have her back. Good Take a that. break. We'll be right back. You are the guy. You're up on stage. Karen, the mothers don't think they're being bad mothers, though. They think they're being good mothers, right? You, you know, there's some kinds of illnesses that we have that have as a major component denial. One of those has been mentioned, drug addiction. A lot of, of the problems that involve emotions bring a big heaping dose of denial along with them, so it's very, very hard to penetrate the denial. I you've see. said you've given her 30 days to get her act together. It's going to take her six years or so to get her act together, so you can expect can you will have the children in your custody. Counseling. Right, you know, this is the point. We can't save these moms in the few minutes that we no, we have can't. left, but the people who are watching you need to hear what we are talking about and wonder, am I making these kinds of decisions and is there something wrong with them? Because we've got a whole room full of people who are outraged. Wrong. Yeah. Outraged. We think there's something wrong. And we're not that. being morally and judgmentally overbearing. Sally, we are being concerned. You know, I'm, I'm not a psychologist or a psychiatrist, and I, and I would certainly defer to the expert, but I cannot believe that deep down in their heart, 
these mothers don't know what they're doing. I don't accept that. Do you they? cannot look at a niece who's broken into tears and sit there like some kind of cold woman and not know what you've done. Okay. I don't believe it. I believe that their selfishness supersedes their love. Yes. Sally, when I said that Jenny was slow, I meant she does things slow. She's not slow. She's very intelligent. But I've got a question for Jenny. Is there any other place that you'd rather be besides me and Shanna? Do we hurt you so bad? No, I just, I want, I want, right here and right now, I want you to realize that when I want somebody to come talk to you, I can't come talk to you. Yes, you can. You're talking no, to me about I, anything. She's telling you she cannot. Go ahead. She's telling she you, can talk to you she about cannot. anything. She can't talk to you. She said so. Tell her why. I don't, when I come to you, I don't want to be talking about strippers or I don't want you to tell me about this. I want to Does Shannon that. always come to me about strippers and stuff? Don't her and I go in the bedroom, close the door, and we have heart to heart talks. Shannon why comes home from work crying. Tell her uh, why. Something's gone wrong. She always comes to me. Tell her you why. haven't been with us that long. You need you you need to open up yourself and tell me. You're the adult. This is what's going on. You're the adult. You're the adult. You're the one who has to have the strength and the flexibility to open yourself to her. You're asking her to be the adult in this relationship. You're twice as old as she is. Well, she and to, I, she's telling you she can't talk to you. You have to hear that. Shannon and I, we y'all have got the wrong idea. You think we'll go out, we get oh. drunk, we go to strip bars all the time. We, we go maybe right twice a week, and the we reason don't have that we that know. <laughs> Okay, yes. I want to know um, who supports your marijuana addiction? Mm -hmm. um, Where I don't, is the I money don't coming? smoke it all the time. Like, oh. if my friends have it, I'll smoke it with my friends. Do they just give it to you? They, like, when they come over, they'll just say, oh, you want some? I'll say, but yeah. But where do you get it? Wait, 13? there's a reason why drugs are illegal, kids. There's a reason why we have a legal drinking age. Your body, the liver, cannot handle alcohol until, you, until your body is fully formed, okay? So you drink early and you damage your brain. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this. The same thing with illegal drugs. I don't care where this thing grows. It grows in the ground. It's all natural. It makes holes in your brain. It does. Take a break. Certain things are supposed to come with motherhood, but not intelligence, unfortunately. I think that's something you either have or you don't have. And we've learned that not every mother is a good mother. Think about it. Thank you for being with us today.